Hello everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel for today's timeless message that I recorded on October 8th, 2023. I'll be using the Tarot of Curious Creatures by Chris Ann. There's the front of that box cover now. I haven't used this deck in quite some time, so I'm very excited to use it today and off camera. As I always do, I'm cutting and shuffling my decks and now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the deck. Divine guidance, spirit guides, peace, love, and light. Wow, I already have three cards popping up. Isn't that interesting? We're going to go ahead with it because spirit doesn't make mistakes. I picked this lovely little fall inspired outfit today. The sun is bright in my eyes here so I'm using the brim of the hat so I can see. <laughs> but I would really encourage you to get out in nature today. It's a beautiful day to be alive. What a blessing indeed. And if you feel so called to get out in nature, today is the day and now is the time. All right, we had three cards popping up for us. Interesting, very interesting, the Ten of Swords, okay? And also, number two, the High Priestess. And the King of Wands. Very powerful cards, very important messages. And the messages here, you're going to, it's your job to use your human intelligence and your divine intuition because that is your guidance from the divine, okay, in your own spiritual being, okay, and knowing that um, that intuition fills in the blanks for things that cannot be explained, all right? That's that funny feeling that you have that something isn't right, or, or it is right, or that something is going to go wrong, or something is going to go right that, you know, Pay attention to that, okay? A lot of times our intuition can fill in the blanks to logic that only our human intelligence can be limited at, okay? So knowing your power there. And certainly take what resonates today and leave the rest, okay? You could pick bits and pieces of these cards. One card message here today could be meant for you. Or like I said, picking bits and pieces of each card and combining it together in supporting message, okay? Whoever finds this video, it is meant for you. Whenever you find it, it's timeless, okay? So take what resonates and leave the rest. And we're going to jump into the booklet messages for these cards, okay? And I always read from the booklet messages. And the reason that I do that, my return watchers do know this about me, is because I like to honor the hard work, okay? And that these deck creators go to to create not only the beautiful images that we focus on, but also their intention for the card. So in Tarot, there's standard meanings for cards. However, the deck creators can put their little spin on it. They can, you know, write within this messaging something that is meaningful for them. So, that's what we're going to be doing today, is reading what little spin Chris Ann has on these tarot cards, okay? So right now I'm just kind of putting them all in their place here so I can easily find them. If you're hearing the cows in the background, please know that could be something for you. Signs and synchronicities, any of the sounds really in the background here, whether it's the birds, whether it's you know, off in the distance, the traffic, the surroundings that I'm in, in nature, the cows mooing in the back. If any of that resonates with you in any way. Number one, it could be something that spirit is sending your way, letting you know that, you know, if you have somebody that has crossed over to the other side and all the time you hear the chickadee. So you can hear the chickadee dee dee in the back. That's that call that they make and every time you're you know outside or you, you know you see on the tv for some reason that chickadee bird is repeating for you and 
your passed on loved one loved chickadees or had bird feeders and that and um, always seem to have chickadees. I apologize, the wig is really mind of its own. But as I digress here, I get sidetracked by that. Remembering that birds are sent to us and uh, any animal, and I was using the chickadee as that example because we could hear it in the background here. That could be specifically for you, sent to you from a loved one that's passed over, reminding you that, hey, I'm here. I'm sending you that chickadee to remind you that I'm always with you and I'm fine and well. Or, you know, maybe it doesn't resonate that way for you, but you do continue to see the chickadee. I'm just using this one as an example. Today, for some reason, that specific bird is coming through. Go out and do your homework. Do your internet searches. What is the spirit animal chickadee, all right? And read what you find on the internet, okay? Read the resources, dive in deep, you know, look for the materials that can help support you and the answers that you're meant to find, really, okay? Because anything repeating, whether it's animals or numbers, which we'll talk about what numbers again are on the card here. If you're seeing repeating things in your environment, it is like a red flag. It's like, hello, pay attention. I have something to tell you, okay? So let's, let's see. So on the High Priestess card we pulled today is two. So if you're seeing two, 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 everywhere you go, it seems you're looking and, you know, whether it's the number coming across on your cell phone or, or the license plate number in front of you or up on a billboard or, oh, and as I'm looking up, I see, what is that? A very large bird in the sky. I don't know if that's a turkey vulture. So if a turkey vulture means anything to you, just kind of going around and around. Oh, and now there's two. Well, goodness gracious. If a turkey vulture means anything to you, or if you tend to see that particular bird time and time again, do that search on the internet, the turkey vulture animal spirit, okay? There could be signs for you very interesting indeed. Wow, it's such blue skies here today. Maybe I can just show you kind of the skies above me. Blue skies, only a few little passing clouds. Absolutely stunning, gorgeous day. Hardly a, a breeze, very still today. Very quiet today. Just a really beautiful and thoughtful day. All right, just a very touch of a breeze here and there. Just quiet and serene and beautiful. Not too hot, not very dry. Spend some time in nature today if you can. The sun is so shining bright and hot. I picked this lovely spot on the bridge, you know. I'm called to this bridge. There's a little creek running underneath of it. Very shallow since we've been dry this year. I'm kind of babbling on and um, all for reason, okay? Some of this kind of things that I'm talking about right now is going to resonate deeply with someone and give them some sort of sign or synchronicity okay so spirit doesn't make mistakes or right even if it feels or appears to be a mistake everything is for a reason but we're gonna jump into it okay after i find one more one more so i can put my card let's see where did we go i haven't used a tarot deck in a long long time and I do like to row, but I tend to gravitate towards, um, well, goodness gracious, where is it? I tend to gravitate towards Oracle decks and that, and I just always have, oh, and there we've got a big wind gust coming through. Interesting. Breeze, absolutely gorgeous out. There it is. Oh no, that's the knight. We want the king. There it is. Well, 
we've got it together now. And we're gonna start out with this card here. Okay, pay attention to this card and anything on here that resonates and is the 10 of swords. So you see in 10, 10, 10, is that your number, okay? Do your homework, do your research, look into what those meanings could hold for you. So it appears to be, and this, I love this tarot deck because Chrisanne creates human bodies with animal heads and, and um, the theme of the animal within kind of the body coloration. It's just really creative and neat and I absolutely love it. We've got a rose here at the top and 10 swords, okay, because this is the 10 of swords. So let's get into what this means for us. And it's of heads, okay? So she's got heads or tails. So tails would be like this, okay? But it came out this way. An ending. Abrupt disconnections, feeling stabbed in the back. A need to let go in order to heal. An opportunity to heal from lessons and challenges of the past. Finding your resilience. Interesting message. And realizing too, that we are always going to have lessons to be learned, right? There's always going to be obstacles to overcome and mountains to climb, no matter what in life. That is what the human experience is about. Now, if you can recognize that you're going through a challenging time and actually be grateful for the mess, which yesterday's video, I talked about being grateful for the mess. If you can see the light, even within the darkness, and realize that you're being brought through it for a reason, then you will learn the lesson and you won't have to continue to repeat the same lesson over and over in a different form, all right? That's much what karma is really about when we're repeating things because we haven't learned the lesson. So pay attention to those things and try to learn the lesson and move it forward in your life so that you don't have to have it repeating. And have that resilience mindset, okay, of resilience and, and being able to take a positive and, and forward-looking mindset, even in the face of adversity. In one fell swoop, her happy humming stops mid-buzz. Confused and compromised, she falls to the ground, lamenting the tangling of her once beautiful wings. Scared, scarred, and uncomfortable, she looks around at the new world that is shifting into focus, an abrupt ending. And a lot of times we stay in situations, circumstances, and relationships because we are afraid. That fear-based mindset of things ending and the ego telling us that, oh no, don't do something different. Oh, this is too scary to end the relationship, for example, when really that's what you need to do, okay? A new dawn. She tries to stretch her wings and finds them immobilized by the negative thoughts of her mind, okay? Your mind is where your power is. How did they used to work? She tries to remember and is faced with a difficult choice to remain stuck in old patterns that have been painful or to grab on to the spiraling thoughts and direct them somewhere new. You have a choice, you really do. We pollinate the paths we travel with our mindset and heart set. So soothe and protect any wounds you're carrying with honey balm and spend some time grieving them all the way out of your system, okay? Very important. And I know I did a little short the other day and I'm gonna bring this one up too because, and it was just about promoting, it was just a health suggestion, okay? About um, natural raw honey. So I feel like I wanna mention that again here, okay? If you are really into natural alternatives to health, honey is a fabulous option, okay? And I'm gonna let you do the research on that. Natural raw honey, especially if you get it from the locally in your environment, because that is actually going to aid in your, if you suffer allergies, because it 
the bees use the the local pollen and and um, and that to create the honey and that pollen is actually what you're allergic to so it is really advantageous to the system but don't take my word for it do your research all right anything on my channel get second opinions do your research don't ever take somebody word for anything as being the only way to do things the only way to believe the only right answers because nobody on the planet in a human body has all the answers ever and ever will okay you trust your divine guidance through your intuition and it's there for a reason you can make the decisions better than anybody about your own self enough set okay let's move on all right let's see allow them to serve as lessons but don't allow them to anchor your muscles or your potential to old truths giving yourself the gift of perspective and compassion will help you heal and when the sweetness of something new begins to call to you from your core allow it to rise there is much love there. Be conversations. We cannot venture into new levels of vibration until we look at our lives as a culmination of every step we've taken, okay? We are who we are because of what we've experienced. And when you think back and you've had a horrible or deemed horrible experience, labeled horrible experience, it actually made you who you are as a person and shaped you into the being that you are today so everything has purpose and a plan for us okay and remembering that then and only then can we begin to unhook from the stories and create a new world how does the swarm around you serve to help you and and to hinder you what is ending and what is beginning what have you learned through your challenges? These are all wonderful questions. And you could even do the exercise of, you know, getting out a, a notebook and journaling about these questions. You know, question number one, how does the swarm around you, swarm meaning the people that you have surrounding you currently, serve to help you and to hinder you? So really take a deep dive and think about that today. Think about how the people that you surround yourself with, how are they helping you? How are they harming you? And do they all need to be in your life? Are they still advantageous? Okay, are those relationships still working for you? Or are they working against you and why? And do you need to make a hard decision to stop a relationship? Okay, that is okay. The other question, what is ending and what is beginning? Asking yourself, what is ending in your life or what would you like to end so that you can open up that energy, open up that door to the new beginning, okay? A lot of times we block ourselves by continuing to hold on to things that were meant to leave a long time ago, doors that were meant to shut a long time ago so that new doors can open and new people can come into our life, okay? What have you learned through your challenges? And this is what I just mentioned a little bit ago about taking the lessons and putting in them into your life, applying them into your life moving forward so you don't repeat the same mistakes, we'll put in quotations, okay? So you don't have to continue to try to learn the same lesson over and over, all right? As you accept the lesson and learn from it you can evolve into new things okay that's for this a good example of this is being in a relationship with somebody and then you break up that relationship and then you jump into a relationship with somebody that was exactly like that person because for whatever reason you didn't learn your lesson Okay, and so now the universe is sending you that exact same person in a different form so that you can learn the lesson finally. Pay attention to those kind of situations. Wow, what a powerful card indeed. Absolutely love that card. All right, 
Next message. So again, use that human intelligence and divine intuition and guidance to decide if all of these messages are meant for you or if bits and, bits and pieces are meant for you or if there's a combo effect. And really, in any of these messages, if you take an open approach to them, you'll realize that they're good reminders for all of us and we can apply it to our life moving forward. So we're gonna get into the High Priestess card as the second card here, and that's number two. Okay, woo, almost dropped that one. Interesting card, all right? Very interesting indeed. Let's get into it. And it was heads, so it was it came out up and down like this, not upside down, all right? So it came up upright. Intuition, initiation, a wisdom keeper, a time to pause and listen to your inner guidance. Passive motion, psychic and spiritual experiences. Self-awareness and the unconscious mind. Mysteries of the divine. Okay. Pay attention to the signs. All right. You're a divine, everlasting being. Okay. This physical body that we're in right here, this is temporary. This is organic. This is part of Mother Earth. Okay. We leave this physical body and we return to eternity. Okay, we are eternal. We return. We are all one, that energy. Okay, let's not forget that. This lifetime is just a short little blip in the grand scheme of things. All right, you're just coming here to learn some lessons and then you're moving on to the next. Okay, but you are gifted divine intuition okay so remember that today remember how divine you are in a world of instant answers and an overwhelming amount of pseudo fact isn't that interesting the high priestess is an invitation to dwell for a moment within mystery she sits between the spiritual and earthly realms and asks you to embrace stillness and just be Maybe you need to get outside and breathe the fresh air and listen to the animal sounds or the nature sounds or the environmental sounds and just be, okay? Without trying to change anything, just allow things to be what they are. While you listen for the gentle voice of your own intuition, by sitting quietly suspended in the abyss of ancient truth, your own answers will rise to meet you absolutely you can you can you don't need tarot you don't need me or anybody on youtube to tell you anything you have intuition okay i'm putting the power back in your hands on this channel i'm reminding you of how powerful how divine how everlasting you are and how capable you are of finding out answers on your own how does it feel what is that? What do you think it? What do you think the answer is? Okay? Trust yourself a little bit more. Trust that you will intuit the right moment to resume conscious motion. Trust that you're going to be led in the right direction and know what the next step is going to be. Relax, okay? You are stepping into a profound knowing and your dreams will carry the whispers of prophecy. So listen for the language of metaphor. Time spent in a state of re receptivity will be steeped in serendipity and guidance. What are those signs and synchronicities and how are they leading you? And your ability to hear the cooing of your soul is being amplified at this time. Dive into your unconscious mind and seek to know thyself as profi profound psychic and spiritual intelligence in, is germinating and silent observation will provide the dreamy hollow needed for its emergence. You are becoming the oracle. You are a divine everlasting being. Okay? You have so much wonderful things to look forward to. And I heard a dirt bike in the background there. So I'm going to bring that forward. Does a dirt bike resonate with you at all? in some way, shape, or form, okay? Yeah, oh, 
Did somebody that you love or know or was precious to you pass over to the other side through a dirt bike accident? I didn't want to have to say that, but Spirit is telling me to say it, okay? It is all right. It is okay. They, they are sending you some kind of sign and synchronicity. Okay. And they're fine on the other side and they're with you. All right. Pay attention to the signs, everyone. All right. Raven conversations. Time and space are more flexible when we experience them to be. I invite you to look at the lines between past and present and future and present, and then find the lines that point toward your own healing. You are connected to all the things. How does your intuition speak to you? Tell me what your intuition feels like. And you could write this again at the top of a paper or page rather in a notebook, all right? And think about, write the, this question, how does your intuition speak to you? Tell me what your intuition feels like. And that's gonna be individual to every single one of us. How does your intuition speak to you, all right? And what does that feel like? And spend some time outside in nature, if you'd like, if you're called to. And think about these questions we're bringing up today, okay? Interesting, very powerful card, just a very good reminder okay, that when we're having those tough lessons in life presenting, okay, tough lessons presenting, to trust our intuition and our divine guidance and remember how powerful and everlasting we are, okay. Oh, and I had a little bird coming real close here and just now, yeah. Well, isn't he cute? really solidifying that for me and for us today okay we can do it all right we're here for the lessons and those are tough lessons sometimes but let's use that divine intuition to get through it okay last and final card and we have three cards today so three 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 means anything to you again that's another number to do some research on, okay? The King of Wands. Wow, look at this powerful picture here. <laughs> this lion, okay, look at him. You can almost hear him roar. And maybe lion is a really important spiritual animal to you. Maybe you really gravitate towards lions and big cats, okay? Maybe somebody you knew, right? or no, gravitates towards lions specifically, all right? Maybe you're a boss or a CEO or a leader of some sort, okay? Very interesting. Let's get into the booklet message. Let's see what King of Wands has to say to us today. I'm gonna put this down and let sun is so shiny and hot and bright, woo! Heads, okay, so it came up in the upright position. So this is the overall energy, a visionary, incredible confidence, creative genius, success, entrepreneurial mastery, assertiveness, an excellent leader, belief in yourself, okay? Believing in yourself. So if we think back to the other cards here, those tough situations, those challenging circumstances, we're going to be using our divine guidance through intuition and then believing in ourselves that we're making the right choices. Hmm. Beautiful message right there. This brilliant leader charges ahead with his exhilarating zest for bringing visions into being and for change making his way through ex this exciting life. This remarkable, beautiful life this fantastic, wonderful opportunity to be alive as a human being and experience it. Wow, incredible. His desire to succeed is less about getting his lion's share of the pie and more about seeing his creative vision spring to life. 
The King of Wands wants us to manifest incredible change and innovative new ways of seeing the world. He wants us to find meaning in our own spectacular creative impulse. His genius lies in his belief in his own formidable perception and he holds no need to be just like everyone else. And I'm getting something coming through here about, it's not necessarily specific on what it is, but somebody here today has conquered a very difficult life experience, has climbed a very tall mountain, as it were, and they've used this human experience to create a business because they listened, they listened to their divine guidance and intuition that led them down the correct path to step into their power to create business from the negative experiences in their life and to rise to the top, okay? Interesting. And you could do this as well. Remember, we're given the challenges for a reason. Maybe you're supposed to help others through similar challenges because you conquered that same challenge, all right? And people love it when other people can share similar life experience with them. They trust them more. They believe their advice is more accurate because they actually lived it as well, all right? This could be you. This could be what that intuition is guiding you to do. Pay attention. All right, it's time to have faith in your own visions and acu acumen. To be the leader of your story while you invite others to help you build it. You don't need to do it all on your own, okay? Yet your certainty, yet you certainly rather, need to tap into your own wisdom and your own passion to define your trajectory. So that means you got to do the work, folks, friends, family, okay? You gotta do the work. No one else, no one else's will do. Your giant dreams are 100% within your reach. And it's time to set your sights on the horizon and aim your path directly into the sunrise you seek. Luminescent faith and sparks of roaring confidence will guide you. Lion Conversations. I am often accused of being overly assertive and aggressive when I run toward my goals. But my dreams are my life force. How do you grab your dreams? How do you make progress while also being compassionately attuned to the perceptions and the stories of those who are by your side, right? When you step into your zone of genius and passion, and see where they intersect, what are you doing, all right? Great question to ask yourself. In your perfect world, in your most passionate calling, what are you doing, okay? Ask yourself that and start taking action today towards that, okay? This is definitely, and you can take bits and pieces, like I said, of what resonates and leave the rest. But for me, we're going to have this combo message here. It all comes together, folks. Okay. We got that tough challenge, that mountain that we're just climbing or we have climbed. And that divine intuition is guiding us along the way from those life experiences that have been difficult. We're being led. That intuition is reminding us of that, is leading us, is bringing those signs and synchronicities, is opening the doors to opportunity, and you're stepping into that power, okay? You're stepping up to the plate, okay? You're being called to help others through the life experience you've already lived. Fantastic, beautiful message. I absolutely love it today. Wow. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for coming back to me the way that you do. All right, I appreciate you. May you find value in this video, okay? May you find value. Thank you. Because as I always say in each and every video, in this current body that we're inhabiting, in this current life experience that we're having, 
Yesterday is done and over, everyone. Take the lessons. Take them. Apply them to the life moving forward. But also remember, tomorrow isn't promised, not to me, not to you, not to anyone, okay? So if you feel called to take that divine, magical action, if you're being called by the divine through your intuition, or if you're receiving the signs and synchronicities, pay attention to that and take action today, okay? Because today is the day and now is the time. This is what we're promised is right now. So do it today, folks, friends, family. Do it today. I thank you. Thank you for joining me out here in beautiful nature in that hot sun. Woo wee! But I'm so grateful for it. All right. So grateful to be alive here today once again. May we get the opportunity to do it again tomorrow. Come back and join me for yet another collective energy message. Bye bye.